In the launch of a funding method for education and technical institution in Nairobi, it was noted that the county government of Nairobi is far from fulfilling its promises, with it being clear that there are still challenges in the technical education sector. We just have uh, less money coming in uh, uh, through the national government and consequently less money going to the, uh, to the county government and therefore wanajuliza tutapeana hii kwa mashule ama tutalipa mishara. And so for one reason or the other, we've got that uh, discrepancy. The consequence of this is that already we had a very disadvantaged people living with disability group and women into the VTCs. Despite the county government receiving a special grant allocation of 72 million shillings to facilitate technical and vocational education and training in 2022 budget, there's still a shortage of workers in this sector. Um, his manifesto also speaks about adequately funding vocational training centers and equipping them with modern, modern equipment. Therefore, as an institution, we felt it's important to give the current governor a baseline of the current status of the VTCs that he's coming to work in. Another, another challenge that we face is a perception of our, the community. They don't uh, look at this as, a, as, a, as a good institutions. They look at them as where failures go. The recent launched report also revealed that there is poor utilization of the development budget. So from our, uh, our report, we have found out that infrastructure is very poor in our facilities. Uh, from the report shared by the county, we can see that the absorption of the development budget has not been, uh, uh, has not been absorbed well. This means that, that 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 correlates with the poor infrastructure we are seeing in our facilities. The report shows that 80% of students are not satisfied with the financial aid provided by the county government of Nairobi, while 11.4% expressed their satisfaction and the remaining 8.6% did not want to talk. The study further shows that 75% of the students from low-income earning families are not satisfied with the government support. Respond obtained further indicated that only 14% of those who came from low-earning families are satisfied with the government support. So we borrowed and saw that from Vihiga, that county has a capitation fund of 15,000 per student uh, uh, being given. This is not so in Nairobi County. And we see that this has affected retention and transition of students in our VTCs. And that's why most employers, you are truly included. I would prefer somebody who does not have good papers but who can work than have somebody who has extremely good papers who can't work. Surprisingly, 89.1% of those who came from high-income earning families are also not satisfied with the government support. The implication is that a majority of the students are not satisfied with the government support, which then calls for ways of enhancing the government support. For Ebru TV, Amode Francis.